the latest update to our practical RBR is a second nut for extra control when rolling. Start by locking the bolt in position by using the nut closest to the winding handle. The new additional nut is used to set the curvature of the steel on the first pass through the rollers. After each pass, increase the curvature slightly by making a small adjustment to this nut. Repeat this process until you create your desired curve or circle, leaving the nut in its final locked position. Once locked, consistent circles and curves can be reproduced. The Practical RBR tool is the most versatile tool in the practical range because it carries out three separate functions. RBR stands for riveting, bending and rolling, as you will see in the following demonstration. The riveting function on the RBR tool enables metalwork to be joined together with a strong and authentic looking joint. There is no need to weld or use heat or electrical power, which makes it very safe and easy. Once you have marked and punched the required holes on the punch and shear tool, you pop in one of our rivets and the metalwork is then ready for riveting. Place the joint to be riveted against the tops of the two rivet posts and operate the handle to squeeze the rivet in the centre and again on each side of the rivet. This swells the rivet into forming a neat, strong and unbreakable joint. And if necessary, you can undo and remove the tool's side rollers if they get in the way of riveting. Using the three squeeze method on each joint, in turn, you can build up simple or complex patterns of wrought iron work. The bending function on the RBR tool is again simple to use. Just place the steel strip between the square bending head and the two side rollers. With the almost effortless pull of the handle, you can form a bend of up to 90 degrees. Another handy feature on the bending function is the ability to set and then repeat a particular angle of bend. First you make your initial bend, then use the end stop screw to fix its angle. And now you can go on to make identical bends each time. As you can see, this really is useful for making a wide variety of shapes. The third and final function of the RBR tool is rolling. This requires the two side rollers to be fitted as well as the all important winding handle shown here. Before doing any rolling, make sure all three are screwed down tightly. Next, offer up the steel strip you are going to roll to the winding handle roller. Adjust its height to the width of the strip so that the arc or circle you are going to roll remains flat. At this point we are ready to start rolling. 
and we start at one end of the steel strip and grip this between the winding handle roller and the side rollers. Then you apply a bit of pressure on the long handle lever to form the initial curvature. At the same time, use the winding handle to drive the steel strip through the rollers until you get to the far end. Then increase the pressure a bit more and drive the steel strip back to the other way and watch your curve start to take shape. You then repeat this, increasing the pressure on the long handle each time until you achieve your desired curve or circle. When trying to roll a perfect circle, you can encounter flat sections at the very ends of the strip. To overcome this, you can pre-bend each end in a vise. If you need to make repeated curves or circles, you can use this adjusting nut to set the tool to produce the same radius every time. The rolling feature also comes into its own when you want to accentuate curves between scrolls, and this can really add a touch of class to your designs. And what happens if you don't get it right? Do you have to throw your curve or circle away? Well, the answer is no. You can simply put it back in the opposite way and roll it back to its flat state.